Greetings and welcome to the New Calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So I want to, in this video, just warn you about what you uh, read from responses that are given by chatbots such as Bard, Claude, uh, GPT, etc. Now, these chatbots, uh, if pre-trained correctly, are capable of producing excellent responses. But again, garbage in, garbage out. So if, for example, uh, the pre-training is wrong, as is the case with the new calculus, then, of course, the replies are going to be nothing but a bunch of drivel. So, uh, for example, if you say, explain the new calculus to me, uh, any of the chatbots will respond in a similar way to what you see here. It says, the new calculus is a proposed alternative to traditional calculus developed by me. Well, it's not only a proposed alternative. It is a 100% rigorous alternative. And, and, get this, it includes advanced features that are not possible using the flawed mainstream definitions of derivative, integral, and even the basic mathematical concepts such as number, um, uh, arithmetic, etc. Okay, so yes, the new calculus does reject uh, incorrect concepts such as limits, infinitesimals, and infinity. All those are provably unreliable, provably wrong, and provably never rigorous in spite of the claims to the opposite. Okay, so then we get into immediately into the assertions. Okay, this is the self-defense assertions of the mainstream. So it says, instead of limits, Gabriel proposes a method involving finite differences and algebraic manipulation. That's not even true, by the way. Re re it's not even true at all. Redefinition of derivatives. Well, I mean, I don't use limits. I reject limits, but it's got nothing to do in, with with finite differences and algebraic manip manipulation. It's got to do with 100% geometry. So redefinition of derivatives. Derivatives are defined without using limits, focusing on a difference quotient. No, derivatives are defined using geometry. And by the way, notice it says nothing about integrals. So it seems to <clears throat> not even know that there is a new calculus integral definition, which is based on the very same definition that the derivative is based on, which in turn is based on the mean value theorem, which, by the way, they think is correct. But somehow, my new calculus is not correct. But that How can that be? If think, think about that, people. Okay, think about that. So my new calculus, my new calculus, is based on the mean value theorem. Okay, everything, the derivative and the integral. So by saying what they do, and this is not just Bart speaking, it's them. By saying that <clears throat> uh, it's wrong, what they're effectively saying is that the heart of calculus, which is the mean value theorem, this guy here, they're rejecting, they're saying this is wrong. So how can how can they say on one hand that they accept the mean value theorem and that the new calculus is wrong? Cannot be, right? I mean, you, you can't have something black and not black or true and not true, okay? It's like saying true, um, true and not true. I mean... That's the kind of gibberish and, and garbage that they basically are advocating. That's not possible. You cannot say these things uh, and, and think of them as anything but assertions. The mainstream has never produced any proof whatsoever that the new calculus has flaws in its, for example, lack of rigor. It's 100% it's rigorous. The irony is, you know, that the, the irony is lost on them that the new calculus is rigorous and their mainstream calculus is not, you know. And so, and of course, the, the next thing is that not only is the new calculus uh, able to deal with all the calculus problems 
that you've ever thought of better than your mainstream calculus, but it's far more advanced. It contains more advanced theorems, more advanced uh, uh, concepts that you cannot use with your flawed definitions. In You cannot use the, for example, the mainstream derivative definition in the Gabriel polynomial. It will fail because the Gabriel polynomial is an advanced concept that was built on Newton's ideas. In other words, the interpolation polynomial. It doesn't have an error term. It's not at all like the Taylor series, like some idiot recently posted on Reddit. It has nothing to do with the Taylor series. Okay, It's based on Newton's interpolation polynomial, and you cannot use it unless you use the, you use the new calculus definition. So uh, I have people with IQs that are far lower than mine and who, who have PhDs and think that they are in a position to critique my work. So... That's very unfortunate and it's very sad because uh, one of the great benefits of the new calculus is that it's not only 100% rigorous, but that it's easier to learn and in the long term uh, enables one to develop a rock solid foundation that is independent of assertions, independent of ill formed concepts such as infinity infinitesimals and the rest of that rot okay so and of course this lack of peer review is a joke i mean who's going to review my work if they're not on my level it's like telling somebody living in newton's days who comes up with the same excuse that nobody reviewed newton's work who was going to re review archimedes who was going to review newton he didn't have peers they couldn't review his work, just like the morons in mainstream mathematics academia cannot review my work because they're simply not up to it. They do not have either the intellectual capability or uh, from, the point, from the standpoint of knowledge, they do not have sufficient knowledge. They're actually cranks because every time they are uh, refuted, okay, they reject the proof that I give them. Okay, they reject it even in the face of overwhelming evidence. So there is proof for everything in the new calculus. So when you get on here um, and you, you ask chatbots these things, be very, very aware of the fact that every chatbot is pre-trained, usually with garbage from prize crap sites like Reddit. I mean, Reddit is a pile of shit. And let me tell you something about Reddit people. Those idiots at Google paid, I think it was 68 million or billion to use Reddit's data. Do you know who gets on Reddit? Well, go and have a look at their conversations. It's basically idiots who don't know anything about mathematics, who claim that they are refuting bad mathematics. And, uh, you know, basically it's a site where you have a lot of ad hominem memes Etc. There, there is nothing there that is is erudite or scientific. It's all rot. Same thing for Sci.Math. Okay. Same thing for Quora. You can't go to those sites and just simply believe what you read because it's written by people who have never listened to what I told them, but have rejected everything on the basis that I have. Uh, refuted them and that they don't like me. Primarily, it's because they do not like John Gabriel. Okay, that is the reason. Because John Gabriel doesn't mince his words. Okay, that's me, by the way. I tell them exactly uh, what kind of fools they are, and they hate that. And they shouldn't. But there's nothing worse to a mainstream academic than being corrected. It's anathema to them. You can't correct them because stupid cannot be fixed. So, yeah, be very careful what you read on the internet. Be very careful what is out there. Be very careful of what chatbots reply. It's usually not anywhere near the truth. So if you want to get truth, come to the Discord channel, okay? Initially, you'll only have access to the lobby and questions. All the other channels are for members only. To become a member, you need to pass a test. And it's a 10 question multiple test, which you need to pass. 
Um, and if you do get through that, you can have access to all the fantastic information that we do not share with the public because they're not uh, worthy of it. Okay. So there are a lot of topics on here that are discussed and many times I do share knowledge here, which I don't share with the public. Now, if you're not already a subscriber on my YouTube side, become one and also become a member there. There you don't have to take a test. You can become a member for 499 euros a month and have access to even my current research projects. I'm John Garibald and this is New Calculus Channel. Until next time, goodbye.